est ici dans la Fayette, Louisiane. Il a porté en mesure la communion avec son père et le troisième fois sur son grand-père. Le 2010, il est venu pour le meilleur album des années pour être âgé. So you ready to get moving and grooving for that year's song, Grand Award winner, Sherry Carey, and Body Swan Bay. You know, better go to your French, too. Now, you know French? Watch yourself, baby. I'm going to sing something in French for you. Let's do it, come on, come on, Check this out. I 
So what do you think so far? Is it too Cajun for you? Too cultural? <laughs> it's a good time. It's a little warm out today though compared to what it's been the last few days. Let's keep looking around. There's like a second half to it over here on the other side of the park. So uh, let me turn it around again. Like there's another area of uh, bands and dancing over here. Let's go see what this is all about. Hey, vlogging. You want to say something? You know who he is, the Cajun power himself. The Cajun Picasso. The arena player, Mr. Bull this out.
Well, so far you're getting a little bit of everything, huh? The dancing, the music. You saw some of the menus of the types of food that they have out here. And uh, just the culture, huh? People walking around enjoying themselves. Beautiful day for it. It's all weekend long. It starts on Friday and it ends today on Sunday. So, uh, yeah. A little warm out, but besides that, beautiful gathering. Lots of very nice people. Usually this event every year is like a dust bowl with all the dancing going on. It's usually a pretty dry time of year here. But I think, uh, I don't know if it's because it rained for a couple of days during the week right before this, but it's not that bad. I can see a layer of dust on my phone, so I know it's getting kicked up and all that. But it's not as bad as it usually is. I always jokingly call this festival the dust bowl because of that. Usually you can see where people are dancing, where they're dancing at. And it's typically just a big bowl of dust. <laughs> but uh, not so bad this year. Check this thing out. It's like something James Bond would drive. It can, it can float and it could drive. <laughs> so as you can see by now, if you've been watching a good bit of my videos, most of them have to do with uh, like places of significance. Like I always say, you know, nostalgia, famous places it'll eventually you know be more uh, broad and widespread you know famous people's houses uh, famous graves famous streets hotels churches all that stuff uh, and sometimes like this you can count on me including uh, cultural events just like this one because I mean when you live in South Louisiana that's you, you can't pass that up you know it's such a staple down here and people love to get together for everything. You know, that southern hospitality, that southern way of living, that get together and celebrate mentality is such a real thing and it's very prevalent here. Um, so by no means am I doing it as a, a destination vlog. None of my stuff is meant to be like a destination vlog where it's supposed to entice people to come and visit and all that stuff and blah blah blah. It's just to uh, celebrate and showcase culture significance, nostalgia, like I always say, all the same stuff like that. So whenever it comes to things that I think you guys would like to see and experience, I'll probably make a vlog out of it. So that's really all it comes down to. And um, days like today are no exception. We're coming up on the pond here. Let's see if we can see some ducks. So yeah, here I am on the, uh, this is the other side of the park uh, where the pond is, as you can see behind me. Uh, from what I hear, it's fully stocked too. So if you guys wanna come fishing here, I hear it's pretty good fishing. Uh, don't take my word for it, that's just what I've heard. But uh, <laughs> uh, so yeah, hope you enjoyed this vlog today. Uh, moving forward, some kind of, I guess, looking forward uh, notes. Um, I will be going to Mobile, Alabama for about three days straight uh, in a couple weeks on the 28th, 29th, and 30th. And I do plan on doing some uh, pretty good vlogs over there. There's some pretty significantly uh, interesting things there to get. So uh, I do plan on doing a few over there. Um, with that, uh, you can look forward to that. Mobile will be a cool change of uh, scenery for sure. Uh, Mobile's very pretty and very, very historical. So I'm sure I'll have no problem finding uh, two or three to do while I'm there. And um, yeah, I can't think of any others. Um, besides that, I just wanted to show you guys this today. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. With that, I'll be signing off here. And uh, from here at Gerard Park at Festival Acadian Creoles. Uh, hope I said that right. <laughs>
I try not to butcher butcher my native uh, Cajun language here. But um, have a great weekend and a great week ahead of you. Happy Sunday and uh, keep watching. Hit the like button. Subscribe, please. Uh, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Uh, and enjoy the videos. I hope you're enjoying them. And uh, feel free to write me or email me anything, whatever, and give me suggestions if you like. Uh, and yeah, hope you guys are doing great. And uh, happy early Halloween and holiday season's coming up, so it'll be an exciting one. It'll be, it'll be a fun trip over the next few months. And uh, you guys take care and uh, signing off. Travel without a cause. This is Matt. See you on the next one. Bye, folks.